Welcome to Wildlife Acoustics. The SongMeter Mini Bat Recorder is a sophisticated device with many adjustable internal parameters. Programming of the SongMeter Mini Bat is easily done via an Android or iOS tablet or smartphone. Let's take a look at the Configuration Editor, which is part of the SongMeter Mini Configurator app. Power on the SongMeter Mini Bat Recorder. The app will detect the recorder. Press and hold the pair button on the SongMeter Mini Bat for three seconds until the Bluetooth LED blinks green. This causes the pair icon to appear in the Configurator app. Tap the pair icon in the recorder's screen and this will pair the SongMeter Mini Bat with the Configurator app. Notice the app received the recorder settings. The SongMeter Mini Bat recorder then updates its internal date and time based on the Android or iOS device date and time. This ensures that the SongMeter Mini Bat and the Configurator app are in sync. A message may appear which advises that the location information programmed into the SongMeter Mini Bat does not match the current location of the Android or iOS device. If a previous location has been programmed into the SongMeter Mini Bat and you want to preserve that location, tap No. If you want to update the location information of the SongMeter Mini Bat to the current location of the mobile device, tap Yes. If the SongMeter Mini Bat is already programmed with the current location of the mobile device, this message will not appear. Tap the Configure icon for the SongMeter Mini Bat. This opens the Paired Configuration Editor screen. The Paired Configuration Editor screen is only available when the SongMeter Mini Bat recorder is paired with the Configurator app. The Paired Configuration Editor screen displays a real-time view of the current settings within the SongMeter Mini Bat recorder. Any change made in the Paired Configuration Editor screen immediately updates the SongMeter Mini Bat recorder. We'll come back to the Load, Save, and Utilities menus in a moment. The first thing we see in the upper left is a way to rename the SongMeter Mini Bat Recorder. Initially, the name of the recorder is its serial number. This is unique to each recorder and significant because all audio files created by this recorder will include the serial number as part of their file metadata. Adding a custom name for the recorder is an option and will also result in the recorder name being added to all the recording files made by this recorder. Naming the recorder here will result in this name being programmed into the SongMeter Mini Batch recorder itself. It may be convenient to also visually label the recorder with the name. This will make it simple to match audio files to their corresponding SongMeter Mini Batch recorder. Tap on Ultrasonic Settings to access the Ultrasonic Audio Parameters. The first item in Ultrasonic Settings is Recording Format. The SongMeter Mini Bat Ultrasonic Microphone can record full spectrum, zero crossing, or both formats at the same time. If zero crossing and full spectrum is chosen, separate files will be created for each format. Full Spectrum Sample Rate defines the highest audio frequency that can be recorded in full spectrum. The default sample rate is 256 kHz, which will record up to 128 kHz audio frequency. The maximum setting is 500 kHz, which will record up to a 250 kHz audio signal. Minimum Trigger Frequency specifies the minimum frequency at which an ultrasonic sound will trigger recording. Signals below this frequency will not trigger a recording. Minimum Trigger Frequency range is from 6 kHz to 60 kHz. Maximum Recording Length is adjustable from 3 seconds to 60 seconds. If maximum recording length is exceeded and there are still ultrasonic recording triggers present, the SongMeter Mini Bat will automatically start a new triggered recording. Trigger window listens for silence between ultrasonic triggers. If there is no ultrasonic trigger within the trigger window, the current recording is ceased. Trigger window can be set from 3 to 15 seconds. Save Noise Files sets whether files that are considered noise will be deleted or will be saved and marked as noise files for further review. 
the last setting we see is for left channel gain. Gain increases the amplitude of the signal being recorded by the ultrasonic microphone. If the optional acoustic microphone is installed in the Song Meter Mini Bat, acoustic settings will be available to customize. Acoustic settings include sample rate. Separate sample rates are used for ultrasonic and acoustic recording. Maximum record length limits the audio file recording sizes within a record schedule block. Gain is used to calibrate the recording level of the acoustic microphone. These are the settings the SongMeter Mini Bat will use for its recording schedules. And the next item is location and time zone. Location and time zone information is embedded in files recorded by the SongMeter Mini Bat, and the location is also used for calculation of sunrise and sunset times. Recorder location can be based on the location of the Android or iOS device at the time of pairing, or location can be set manually. It is possible to specify recorder location by address, latitude and longitude, or graphically with a map. The map will be displayed graphically if the mobile device is connected to Wi-Fi or a cellular network. It is possible to type in an address or longitude and latitude, tap the set button to assign the new location to the SongMeter Mini Bat recorder. Or, very simply, tap on the map to reassign the pin, and that will program the new location to the recorder. Time zone can be set automatically by the mobile device, or it can be set manually. Delay start specifies the date on which the recording schedule will commence. The SongMeter Mini Bat will sleep until the specified delay start date, then it will wake up and begin its recording schedule. Next, we see Send Bluetooth Beacons. This parameter is mentioned in the Recorders and Status Screens tutorial video. Send Bluetooth Beacons enables or disables the Bluetooth beacon on the SongMeter Mini Bat. This section is the Recording Schedule Editor. The Recording Schedule defines when the SongMeter Mini Bat will be in record mode on a daily basis. During an ultrasonic recording schedule block, the SongMeter Mini Bat is in a record wait mode. The SongMeter Mini Bat will go into actual record mode when an ultrasonic trigger signal is present. If the optional acoustic microphone is installed, recording schedule blocks can be created that use either the ultrasonic microphone or the acoustic microphone. It is possible to create recording schedules that switch between ultrasonic and acoustic recording. We'll cover how to customize recording schedules, including alternating between ultrasonic and acoustic recording, in a separate video. For now, let's check out the basics. There are preset recording schedules available for selection. These represent common recording deployment techniques. When a preset schedule is selected, the schedule parameters are displayed below and can be immediately customized. On the right-hand side, there are icons for Estimate Battery and Card Life and Show on Calendar. Estimate Battery and Card Life is a calculator that will take into account the current ultrasonic settings and recording schedule. Deployment start date, SD card size, and battery type can then either be manually specified or based on the currently installed batteries and SD memory card. From that information, the Configurator app will then calculate when the SD memory card will be full and when the batteries will be depleted. Show on Calendar provides a scrollable graphic view of the recording schedule. Day and night are color-coded and accurately display sunrise and sunset times based on date and programmed location. You can scroll the date to see specific sunrise and sunset times for any date in the future. The recording schedule is also color-coded to display exactly when the SongMeter Mini Bat will be in record mode during the 24-hour cycle. If the optional acoustic microphone is installed and a schedule is run that uses both microphones, the calendar will display the acoustic and ultrasonic recording schedule blocks separately. If an ultrasonic and acoustic schedule block overlap, the acoustic schedule block will take precedence. Finally, let's check out these options. Configurations can be saved and loaded as files. There is a separate tutorial video that explains configuration files in detail. 
the first icon provides a way to load a saved configuration file directly into the SongMeter MiniBat recorder. Here we see an icon that will cause the current configuration in this screen to be saved to the configuration library. The configuration file can be named and saved for later sharing, recall, or editing. The Utilities icon provides a list of useful functions for the SongMeter Mini Batch Recorder. Format SD card is the same as the front panel function on the SongMeter Mini Batch. This will reformat the SD memory card that is currently inserted into the recorder. Test microphone shows a real-time decibel readout from the ultrasonic microphone. This function is designed to be used with a calibrated 40 kHz test tone generator. If the second acoustic microphone is installed, there will be test readouts for both microphones. The optional acoustic microphone is designed to be tested by a calibrated 1 kHz test tone generator. Restore recorder to factory defaults does the same thing as the front panel function button. All internal parameters are reset to default values as described in the user guide. The exception is the date and time which are not changed. Email Diagnostics to Wildlife Acoustics creates a diagnostic file from the SongMeter Mini Batch Recorder and embeds it in an email which is addressed to Wildlife Acoustics technical support. This should only be done if a Wildlife Acoustics technician has specifically requested the diagnostic file. Configuration files can also be created and edited, and as mentioned, that's covered in a separate tutorial video. Also be sure to check out the video on creating and editing custom recording schedules. Thank you for watching.